Good morning, everybody. It's September 25, uh, about a quarter after 10. Thought I'd catch up with you guys. It's been a little bit since I've been out here. So I'll explain a couple of things and then maybe work on a little project. So let's see what's been going on since the last time I was out here. Um, Diego's parents came from California and visited for uh, close close to a week at the house. So we hung out with them a few times and um, got to see them. And while they were there, Valentina and I had a anniversary on uh, September 12th um, that we didn't get really get to do much. So the next week when Diego's parents were here, we thought that would be a good time because there's grandparents to tag team with. We're going to go off and take a little vacation. So we took a little vacation over to Charleston, South Carolina, hung out on the beach for a couple of days and just relaxed. Meanwhile, when uh, right before we headed over there, my back went out. So uh, I was in pain a lot of time, but walking on the sand and hanging out on the beach did help. But my back's still been recovering for a couple of days, and uh, now I'm out here and I'm going to try to do some light work. It's also uh, basically one of the biggest rainstorms, I guess, we've had in a really long time here. So there's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a really big puddle down there. It's the muddiest I've ever seen it here. It really poured overnight. we got mud all over the place. Because I really want to do siding, but um, I knew that that wouldn't be a good idea right now. And we also have surveyor guy up here surveying the land to be able to break off a piece for Brennan Nicole. Also, I uh, yesterday or the, no, the day before I think Val and I went and finally we're finally getting on same schedule or lined up with the plumber that we've been wanting to use and uh, we went and bought all this stuff that he had requested so it looks like he came out yesterday and put some stuff in bathtub this is where washer and dryer is going over there put a hole here put a hole here that's where the bathtub will go there's going to be a sink there and a sink there put a hole for the toilet connector for the ice maker I guess um, so yeah he did a little bit looks like everything's strapped in um, so got a little bit done there that's good so what I think I'm gonna be doing is um, I brought my oscillating tool I'd been thinking about using a razor blade and then I remember the oscillating tool I did a terrible job with the foam. Um, I guess it was for big cracks or something and I didn't read it and I don't know. I did a good job on some spots and then some spots it just flowed out and made a mess. So I need to clean that up on every window. Um, some are better than others. And if I get that done and I still feel like it, um, I have this uh, silicone for window and door projects. So some of these um, the windows, especially on the bottom parts of them, they're pretty close to sitting on the frames. There's just a small gap, which the foam didn't work well for that. So I'm gonna go back over the windows as well. If there's gaps or spots I couldn't get with the foam, I'll fill in with the silicone, make sure we're watertight. I'm going to go ahead and close the windows as I'm working too. You can see here that we had scaffolding out there and it bounced all off and soaked the screen and got in on the on the wood. For the most part though, I was surprised that it did not do too bad. Like this isn't really that, so I don't feel any water. I thought it was going to get in and soak it, but it did not. So just over there looks pretty bad. <laughs> All right, guys, this is about as not fun as I thought it would not be. <laughs> it's really slow going, but I mean, it does the job. You have to be careful on the, on the window frame to not get too close because it kind of scuffs it up a little bit. 
um, if I scuff up this edge, I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal because I think drywall will come out at least halfway to here. So if I get it right on the edge and nick it, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, it's just slow going. I've done a couple of windows um, where I uh, can just reach and then I'll take this little step stool and go around and get all the higher parts. But yeah, it's... I knew when I was putting this foam in some of it that it just was it was busting out and it was hard to get to some of it and I just didn't know. So I probably shouldn't have done foam and I probably should have done just caulking. It would have been way easier and way less messy. But it is what it is, you know, you learn. If you guys can see that on the film very well on the camera but I was going down around this window and I think um, there's a little bit you know residue left but I think the drywall will push up against this and I also noticed that I can just take my finger some of these um, and just peel them off or uh, if possible I shove it inside there and push it with my finger But uh, that oscillating tool, I think, is probably making it easier than if I was using a razor blade. Oh, it's been working pretty good. All right, slow go. Keep on going. It's amazing how this place becomes a mess. <laughs> I just was noticing while I was filming how we have stuff just everywhere. But I've cleaned it. I've cleaned it up a couple times, and it just I guess us coming out here ends up causing a mess of a different kind every time we come here. Um, Brent and Nicole went and bought some doors too, and they're storing them in here. So until I don't have a space for them anymore. So anyway, that went faster than I thought. I wasn't really looking forward to doing it, especially once I started. I was like, ah. But I got all the way around. So let me see if I feel like doing something else. All right, guys, picked up a couple little things here and cleaned up a little bit, but not much. You wouldn't be able to tell it. Um, so I'm just gonna call it a day. Um, I'll probably come back out here tomorrow uh, and go ahead and caulk all the windows. I think that's going to take some time. Uh, it is supposed to rain and keep on raining a lot. So we'll see what happens. But um, caulking is something I can do inside anyway. And I've closed all the windows, I think. So we won't get a bunch of splash in here. All right. Well, I will see you guys the next time I'm out here. Good morning, everybody. It's October 13, 11.30. Getting out here late. It has been a minute since I've done any work out here. Basically, since a couple days before Helene came through and ripped everything up. I've uh, released a video by now, by the time this comes out 
kind of showing um, stuff that happened at the pro uh, where we live uh, from Helene and all that stuff and talked about somebody breaking or somebody's breaking my truck open and stealing a bunch of stuff. That number, uh, I started out thinking it was around $1,500 to $2,000 worth of stuff. Now I'm starting to approach around probably $3,500 to $4,000 worth of stuff. It's just as you go along and then you need a tool and then you realize that was in the back of the truck. So I, uh, I'm out here at the property, obviously, going to start working on the house a little bit. And I decided while I'm doing stuff, I would charge all my batteries uh, for my tools. Uh, so there's not a debate on which tools are the best and um, I think every company probably has their strengths but I end up being a DeWalt guy um, fairly reasonably priced lots of interchangeable tools whatever um, anyway that's that's where I end up landing I'm pretty satisfied with the tools and all that stuff well today I went to get the batteries out and I have a lot of tools that require batteries so a lot of the tools that I bought came with batteries and uh, I just realized that I had another DeWalt bag. Uh, I knew of one that was stolen that had odds and end tools in it. Now I remember, or I think I have found out now that there was my smaller DeWalt bag that had all my batteries in it and my uh, speed charger in there. So I think I had two 2 amp batteries stolen and a 4 amp battery and my speed charger and whatever else tools I had in that little bag. So all I have left is a 4 amp and a 5 amp battery with very slow chargers. Um, I can get away with it and survive with it for now, but um, this makes me angry. <laughs> that, I spent a lot of money on tools. That, I mean, you, those of you who have bought DeWalt tools and those of you who have bought batteries and chargers know those are expensive. Um, anyway, it is what it is. I don't know. I can just sit there and be angry about it, I guess, or move on. Uh, it's exciting to buy new stuff, but I don't want to buy new stuff. I need to be building a house and putting my money into that. So, all right, let's get to work. So you guys know that I am... Um, I foamed some of this. You can see foam. See, it's in there too. So a lot of places where you don't see the foam poking out, it's still in there in some of those spots. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this um, window and door caulking and go around every window and make sure I create a good seal. Okay guys, what I'm doing is I'm just, you can see there's foam in some spots and uh, where the foam didn't quite fill in, like there's foam in there. But where it's missing a bit, I'm just putting a little bead in there. But mostly I'm looking for these sides where I guess I could have done a better job. I didn't know. I could have centered these, tried to center the windows a little bit more instead of just resting them down here. So what happened was I ended up having, you know, bigger gaps in some areas where the Loctite foam is. That's where I put the foam. So I'm just trying to make a little bit better seal. So I don't know if this is, if I'm wasting my time or not. The main thing is what I've really been, the whole reason for doing this was to fill in where the foam didn't go because the straw, the lock, the, couldn't get in here. And then mostly too to get just a bead along the bottom because pretty much um, all the windows are sitting right on the seal. And I wasn't able to get a good seal there at the bottom with a, or I don't have anything really except for the Tyvek tape. And then what I have the tape around this window on the outside. 
and now that. Yeah, there's foam in there, so we're good there. So that's what I've been working on. Um, I discovered while I was while I was working on the windows. I've done these windows so far. I had some foam left over, and I did made a mess of this window again. Uh, with all this stuff leaning up against here, it's hard to get in there. So when I can get this stuff moved, and later on when we're inside, I'll I'll clean that all up. But I did this window and this window. But anyway, I was at this window and I saw one of the boys when they put this in, they missed three screws right here. So I need to back those out and go straighter into that. Because you wouldn't be able to put drywall there now. All right, so um, I have some more of the Loctite foam and I decided to open it and start using it. The problem is once you do that, I think you basically have to use the can up. You're not going to be able to, it's going to all dry up in the hose there and that straw and you're not going to be able to use it after that. So you got to use it all up. So I made a little bit of a mess. I got a little bit better at this and I went ahead and did around this window because this was that last window we did and I didn't have foam when I did it. So I'm going ahead and filling this in um, the best I can. The reason why I'm using the foam is I'm learning that the caulking stuff, because it doesn't expand, it takes a lot to fill this in. So um, I decided, well, I'll come back and clean up my mess again like I had to last time, but I found another spot right here that wasn't full of foam. So I'm going ahead and just doing what I can. I can you can take this off with your finger, but it's very, very sticky. So I don't know if it's worth getting all sticky to create maybe less work later when I have to take all that off. Basically, the silicone does well on a bead, and that's about it. Um, I fill in some spots, obviously, but uh, not a fan of it, I'm trying to fill in big gaps. You're doing this just a bead. I know I keep saying this, but I'm kind of just showing you. Now I could have cut the tip off of this probably, obviously off of this can a little bit more and been able to do more than just a fine bead, which would have helped me fill in the bigger gaps. But then that also means you, get, you go through the tube way faster. Now I'm not taking these support beams off right now these little stick these, these boards that you see everywhere um, until I get my siding on and they're preventing me from getting into some of these spots you know behind the boards is hard to get to so I'll have to do that later on once the siding is on and then I can take these off because the siding is what's going to support this house a lot all right, so I'm just going to make my way around. I got this window, this window, this window, this window. I guess I'm going to be running out of silicone, so I'm going to have to buy some more. This is one of those jobs. I was hoping I was just going to complete it today. But, um, I don't think so. Because I don't have any more clocking. And I don't think it's something I'm going to focus on anymore. Maybe when I'm ready, when I've got other jobs done and then I just need something to fill in a day. And um, before the drywallers come out, I can finish off real nicely and get all done. But unfortunately, I'm 
out of this caulking. Oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna keep on a different project. I'll show you guys here in a minute. I think I'm gonna try. All right, guys, I um, really didn't show anything because major learning curve. Um, this is one of the sidings Val just test painted. So it's not like I put a bad piece up or something, but um, I got my first piece up. I made a little makeshift catch down here. And then I used my level and made sure I was level up and down. And uh, I'm just going to stop at this right here. Um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Roger and ask him if he can swing by and look at this and make sure that it looks right. Um, and he can tell me what a... <sighs> He can tell me what adjustments I need to make to make this correct. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've watched a few YouTube videos, but it was a while ago. I made sure this lined up on this stud right here. So then when I overlap, then I'll be going through two pieces into that stud to make a good seal. So I hope that's right. And I did not nail this end yet because I want to be able to slide the next piece in and I want to make sure Roger says this is correct. So it is time to get this siding on. That was a bit of a challenge, but I think for the most part, look right here, I have a small piece up there is going to be small pieces. Um, here will be one big piece, but then it's, you know, a lot of it down there is going to be a big piece, maybe even two. I don't know, but it's it's going to get uh, where I have a lot of pieces, not whole pieces. So it'll be a little bit easier to maneuver and manage. Um, I want to try to get the bottom part done on my own. Although I'm starting to see that it would be easier if I had help. Because um, it was a bit of a challenge just to get this set up and make it even. But... Um, if I have to, I, I think I can I can manage on my own. I just would rather, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want the boys to be sitting around to help me and it's taking me all day to measure stuff and cut stuff and make sure it all lines up. Then they're just sitting around waiting on me. So uh, when we do the, up, the further up on the ends, I'll definitely need their help. All right. Um, yeah, I got this new nail gun and I'm pretty happy with it I'm still learning it a little bit but uh seems to be doing all right these nails the one question I'll be seeing what Roger says I don't know I think anyway they ended up in the seams so I hope that's right um if not I'm gonna have to take this whole piece down it'll be ruined but my my trick was trying to get these to sink and so I've been adjusting it slowly. They're not quite getting in far enough. So uh, hopefully I'll get enough pressure to sink them in. But I, I don't want them to sink too much because that's the thinnest part of the board. So that's another reason why I want Roger to check all everything out. All right, guys. I'm going to put everything away. I think I'm going to be done for the day. Um, so we did some window stuff and one piece of siding to get a Roger to check off on this. So I will see you guys the next time I'm out here.